Hello good people of the internet and welcome to a DCUO video. This is me Nutrion. I'm doing a, a read-through of a Game Update 36 that's gone on to test. Um, I'll cover some of the um, the basics <coughs> excuse me, that they've gone through. Um, a nifty little thing that they've done is um, when you go into screenshot mode it um, right now it removes the HUD so you can uh, make your screenshot look all nice and sparkly. Unfortunately you can't do that normally and I've, I've been wanting a way to, to make it so that when you're inactive for a while uh, the screen kind of disappears, the HUD anyway. No, door's shut. Um, but that, that doesn't happen, so what they've instituted is a way to actually remove the HUD completely so as you just see the more cinematic game experience, which is kind of cool. I, I like that. Um, they've added uh, Tier 6 research and development, so you'll be able to buy Tier 6 catalysts, uh, toolkits, uh, soda enhancers, all that kind of stuff, which is cool. Um, the other thing that they've done is that they've added I'm not going to go through that um, soda, ah, soda cover extremes have gone to the top of each vendor so you don't accidentally buy the turbos which is kind of cool um, some of the, something that we've been asking for for quite some time is to fix uh, the microphone bug uh, which is when you log in your uh, your gain is set to such an extremely high level that you you have to go into your own private chat and then back out uh, and uh, edit the settings literally by one pixel down one pixel back up and it fixes the issue now that's been fixed and it couldn't have happened quicker um, they fix an issue where future Lex and future Batman are no longer invisible uh, during the cutscene. They also need to fix it so as the ads are visible during the game as well because on PS3 it's, it's not that great. Uh, R&D. Uh, they've added Tier 5 Expert Synthetic Mods uh, to the Tier 5 vendors. So the Manta level and the um, the Wastelands vendor, whichever one you've got, Pride for Law, Blood Cursed. Uh, tier 5 content should uh, now be granting either weekly or monthly reward boxes for successfully completing the instance. So we're going to get, um, finally, uh, reward boxes for doing Nexus, Paradox and Op3, which is great. Um, I've got a sneaking suspicion because they, they do something like this just before they change the marks. I really, really, really hope that they keep... Uh, marks of reality, but with them adding the uh, the the weekly and monthly reward boxes before before a DLC drops, I'm kind of getting the feeling that they're going to be switching uh, all of the marks of reality content down to triumphs. And this is something that's been bugging me for quite some time. Um, not really that that much of an issue for lower content, but. Provided how quickly it is to be able to to basically tear skip your character, they need to go back to the way that the uh, the tears used to be. I, I know that they want to have a more inclusive uh, feel to the game, but they've got to make it so the tears are separate. So you have to grind through the content and basically become a better gamer for it. So you have to earn the tier one gear through doing tier ones offer tier 1 rates so you get more per week. You have to grind through the tier 2 content to do that. There are tier 2 rates so you can get that done. Tier 3s, Kryptons, same as usual. Tier 4s, Marks of War. They need to go back to separating out the tiers again from what they are because it's, it is too easy to get yourself a character to level 30 to get immediately walked to into gates, uh, at FOS 1, FOS 3, gates, and prime and you've got more marks than you know what to do with you can get a full set of tier one to uh, tier one to skip tier three go into uh, uh, central city get a, uh, get a load of that gear uh, put it with some synthetic threes or whatever and you suddenly level 70 go into 
uh, FOS1 uh, gates, uh, FOS1, FOS3 gates and prime again, actually get the rewards from it with weapons, uh, gear drops, all that sort of stuff. And then start doing the home turf stuff, which is the um, the daily um, Mbot, Obot, uh, Strikers or Ace Bounty. And you'll be able to get, get your character to tier 5 pretty quickly. I did that with my tank because I I just didn't want to go through the uh, go through the grind. I really, really, really want them to bring that back. So as it stops um, people that that maybe are not as skilled being able to do that. Now I've actually taken my tank back into lower tiers to be uh, to to get some experience with tanking before I do anything else. Anyway, I've gone off off topic. Races. Um, Ah, right, this is one that, that uh, when I went through the races in the Gotham Races uh, video that I posted up, I went around the um, the hospital. Uh, it's Gotham Burning Docks Flight Master Challenge. Villain players on this flight challenge should no longer be attacked by the GCPD in the area of the Mercy Hospital. Basically what happens uh, around that area where you do it, before you go into Mr. Freeze, there, is, there are some rings that are just above where the ambush parties are. They used to attack you, and they've stopped me from doing that race numerous times. That's been fixed, so that, that's pretty cool. Uh, fixed an issue where PvP respawn timers would incorrectly display a long wait time. Oh, oh that's, that's not an issue. Uh, gadgets uh, corrected an issue that could prevent uh, that could make breaking out from photon blast more difficult than necessary. Corrected an issue that could you cause voracious plants to occasionally miss your target. It's a grenade. That's what it does. Um, uh, some general mission mission uh, mission fixes. Uh, duo fixes, Battle for Earth, the Bandit's Bandana has been added to the treasure list for the exterior Brainiac NPCs. Mm, fine. Fixing issues where, where that could cause armories to become invalid for players. Oh yes, that, that was a big issue that I had on my tank. I actually had to move my base to get, to get that fixed. Now, the thing that, uh, that is big about this update, which will probably cause a lot of people to to not be very happy at all is the jump cancelling changes. What they're basically doing to jump cancelling is making it so that if you uh, if you have a power like uh, how can I describe it? This. It'll go much, 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 much quicker. But um, you could uh, essentially jump cancel out of it. Um, or, may, or maybe even this this would actually be a better one given that they're actually shortening the animation time so you could jump cancel out of that like that and you can move around until you get, until you clean get to that point so they're basically removing the charge uh, but what they're making it uh, what they're basically doing is you'll be able to do that jump cancel out all you can do is that for a couple of seconds until that dovetails there and now you can attack again. So it's pretty much until you reach a certain threshold that they're setting up for certain abilities and powers and weapons that will slow down the combat and make it more balanced I believe is the phrase that they're using uh, for all the powers. Now there are there are some instances where I can see this being an issue, especially for for the weapon changes that they're making. Two-handed brawling bow and rifle. Uh, Two-hand uh, uh, brawling is having its its stump smash is going to go so much quicker, which is cool. But the tap that that a lot of people use in in legends and in uh, also in the Bizarro Challenge as well, you're not going to be able to tap to block break anymore. That you're going to have to hold to block break, which is kind of what you need to be doing anyway. Um, which is going to make the only real tap block break uh, character Nightwing or dual wielding kind of okay. 
Hammer throw, uh, the hold triangle is going to be much, 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 much quicker. Long draw, again, much quicker, and that needed to happen as well. But the big, big thing, uh, and it's actually going to do something that, that a lot of people have been requesting, and strangely was not even considered until maybe an FNL uh, when certain things happened and uh, a couple of John Stewart's managed to take out Jens within a couple of seconds. <laughs> uh, rifle shot, which is the... Uh, let me pull out my rifle. Rifle shot is this. That's going to be the main block breaker. Um, so you need to hold to block break with rifle. This will not be a block breaker anymore. That basically kills John Stewart for Legends because you're not going to be able to baseball bat and grenade spam, baseball bat and grenade spam and clip with L2 triangle. That ain't going to work anymore. If you want to block break people, you're going to have to do that. This means that you're much more interruptible. And unfortunately, the same goes for Two Face. This is a change that we've uh, that a lot of people have wanted for Rifle for a long time because those characters are extremely overpowered in Legends. The only downside is that it's it's changed what is a very very good DPS weapon into a next to next to useless because the uh, it will splash over a lot of people a lot more so it swings and roundabouts as to whether or not that's a good a good update uh, for rifle yet but just on the legend side of it it's a very very welcome update but on the dpsing side maybe maybe not because the damage has been uh, is now significantly faster, causes less damage, splits damage between all targets, is no longer a block breaker, is no longer immediately vulnerable to interrupt and generally behaves like a tap range attack. So there you go. They need to make it so that dual wield is brought in line with all the changes that they're making because dual wield still does a tap, is a tap block break, whereas everything else is now a hold block break, so expect that to change in the near future. And then you get on to the massive, massive list. Um, I'm only going to feature a couple of these because there's quite a, quite a few. Um, as part of the ongoing balance improvements, a balance pass on all combat animations uh, was performed. This should uh, eliminate a wide variety of chronic complaints that are ultimately caused by animations that are either longer or shorter than they should be. Animations were standardized and will fall within the following ranges uh, for certain uh, types of abilities. Channeled and sustained abilities that can be jumped, can cancelled, have a dovetail of between 0.8 and 0.1. Channeled and sustained would be these. So expect that to go a lot quicker. Weapon attacks, uh, combo abilities, and abili uh, combo abilities and abilities that cause precision-based damage have a maximum dovetail of 1.35 seconds. So that would be for Celestial, Hardlight, and Red, uh, red Lanterns. Uh, so yeah, uh, they're being sped up a lot. It's kind of okay, kind of not. Trade abilities such as superpowers, consumable items, trinkets, and, and have a dovetail time between 1 and 1.2 seconds. So um, you can do that, but you can't then immediately go into, say, that. You're going to have to wait uh, 1 to 1.2 seconds before you can do anything else if you clip out of it. Um, the following abilities now reach the animation dovetails more quickly, allowing you to execute your next attack again more quickly than before so let's have a look uh, galling eruption that's quicker uh, inescapable storm is quicker uh, gravitonic field gravity well uh, oh that's that's cool, uh, cool. group shielding is quicker uh, cursed idol damage shift tachyon burst Transcendence goes quicker. It's nifty. Uh, Winter Ward, Winter Tempest, Without Mercy, Word of Power. Um, 
the list is pretty huge metabolism uh, savage growth so you'll be able to speed up through the through the process boon of souls I'm guessing recharge is going to be on there because these look like the beneficial powers no 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 no, no it's not Uh, prototype, protective barriers, psychic resonance, psychic shock, pumpkin, purple nightshade seed pod. Ooh, purple nightshade seed pod, that's a new one. Um, so at least we know what kind of uh, trinket we're going to get in the next uh, seasonal. Redirected rage, reflection, regeneration, reinforced. Okay, so they've not put that on there. Sorry, Elgato. Yeah. <laughs> There's absolutely nothing I can do about that. Uh, so, yeah, again, the list is pretty huge, so I'm, I'm not going to go through all of them. Um, the following abilities now take slightly longer to reach your animation dovetails, allowing you to execute your attacks again less quickly than before. So, let's have a look and just pull out a couple. Mass Hysteria, Napalm Grenade, Pebble Blast, uh, Shatter Restraints, uh, cleansed death mark, cleansed haunt, cleansing blast. So I'll cubre wave. Uh, so look, rampage, rage bringer. Oh, that's the main tank pool. Why would you put that so that you attack less slowly? Ooh, that's going to make rage tanking fun. Um, that should have been put on the other one. Uh, okay, so Grasping Hand, Gravity Bomb has been slowed. Light Claws. <laughs> Ionic Drain, Aya. Aya's the. M okay. Uh, target Limit Pass. Uh, quite a few abilities were set up to hit fewer targets than normal, often just four instead of the standard eight that most AoE abilities affect. Uh, these abilities now hit eight targets and, and begin splitting damage after two. Uh, there were a couple of abilities that hit more than eight targets uh, that were reduced to hit eight targets at most. Okay, so let's have a look. Um, okay, so you got Chompers. Cersei's presence. Yeah, they've they've already put the uh, DLC six. Well, sorry, DLC ten in here. You got Cersei's presence. Um, Amazonian Aegis. These are powers that aren't in the game any, at the minute. So yeah, they've they've made it so that they, these things actually take effect. Uh, cleansed consumed soul. Cleansed haunt. Cleansed plague. Cleansed wither. So basically everything that Celestial does. <laughs> uh, uh, well, Corrupted Admonish, Corrupted Retribution, Corrupted Smite, uh, Coup de Gras, I think that's from uh, Wonder Woman, um, Flame Cascade, Flurry, Fear Gas, uh, basically everything in the, in the gorilla form, uh, Ice Elemental, um, yeah, everything from there. Uh, mass debt, mass terror, minigun, napalm grenade, oil barrel. Uh, I'm I'm just running through just to try to pick out a couple of them. Tachyon blast, tachyon burst, telekinetic bolt, uh, telekinetic push, temperance. Again, new. Uh, terror tendrils. Oh, they're gutting that. Uh, Ultra flurry voltaic bolt now hits eight people before split. Oh, nice! Finally, some love for electric. Uh, Walked reality hits eight. Weapon and finishes. Weapon of destiny. Uh, okay. And then flurry word of power, wrath of ages. Okay. Oh, wrath of ages. And then you get to the supercharge. So 
All supercharges that cause AoE effects now hit a maximum of 20 targets and begin splitting damage at 8. Um, the following abilities were updated to follow these criteria. Life Drain? Yeah. Uh, meteor Shower from Earth, Envelop and Tomb. Ballistic Assault and Strafing Run. Oblivion. Wow. Oblivion is going to start splitting damage at 8 as well as Strafing Run. Okay. Mangle? Why would you make Mangle so that it hits... You're not going to get close enough with Mangle to do that much damage. Yeah. Anyway, that that was supposed to be a quick rundown of the um, the uh, changes that, are, that have been made to um, update 36. Um, I'm going to post a link to it in the comments section of the video. Um, if you're on PC test, then definitely, definitely leave the leave the feedback on, on the PC test forums, uh, test forums, uh, because that that's what you should do. Um, if there are any issues with the game, the only way that they're going to be found out is, unfortunately, when they go live. Uh, because with the with them being such a big spread, there are going to be some issues with some of the powers that are going to be hidden until they go live I would expect unfortunately for them to, for there to be a substantial hotfix after this goes live because the, this this update is required for weapon mastery to take effect and you can already see it with some of the powers and some of the abilities that have been made into the weapon traits and the power uh, power system that they're making that they're already putting in place the stuff for um... oh man this is not a good advert for Elgato um, so yeah uh, th there are some some things Deathstroke's draw the following abilities of fact the animation does test more quickly as I just saw Deathstroke's drawer on there. Have they changed the name of a... Iconic Powers. Could they have changed the name of a... of an Iconic Power? That'll pretty much be the only way that I can see that. Anyway, uh, before I lag out and the thing ends again, um, yeah, th this is an update in prep for DLC 10. Uh, you can pretty much see that groundwork being laid already. So, yeah. If if this is, if this is going to be a successful update, it's basically going to lay the groundwork for for DLC 10. Hopefully, uh, with that being the case, then we can expect DLC 10 to land within the next month. Hopefully, um, because there's or maybe in two updates time, because we've got a seasonal before then. So you're probably going to go through the seasonal. Yeah, yeah, you're probably going to go through the seasonal before you get the DLC and the DLC after the uh, the hot fix that removes the seasonal from uh, from the uh, from the game. So you could probably expect the update in about uh, what the DLC to land in about two months time, probably thereabouts. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to leave, uh, leave the video there because I've got quite a bit of editing to do, unfortunately. So yeah, I will catch you in a bit. So. Take care. Uh, remember, read the forums, uh, post your comments on there, and I will catch you in a bit. Bye.